You know, I've been in this industry for a long time, and over the years, you learn many tips and tricks. But there's a much quicker way of learning a bunch of stuff than just many years of experience. And the way to do that is to find someone who knows something or has learned something and can teach you. So in other words, find mentors. Now, I'm gonna be creating a series of videos where I want to help you become a better network engineer. Don't spend 15 years like I have having to learn all these tips and tricks the hard way. Just learn from these videos. So hopefully, the tips and tricks that I'm gonna show you in this video and subsequent videos will make you the so-called 10X network engineer. In other words, you'll become a network engineer that's set apart from others. You're gonna learn some commands in this video that I wish I had known many years ago. Use these commands to set you apart from others in the industry. When you go for an interview or when you have a senior network engineer or someone else watching what you're doing, use these commands and amaze them with what you can do. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can leverage Linux commands on classic Cisco iOS. Now, I'm not talking about dropping into a Linux shell. I'm not talking about enabling a Linux VM or Linux shell separately from the Cisco iOS. These commands run directly within Cisco iOS. This is classic Cisco iOS. In other words, the iOS that's been running on network devices for many, many years. I've tested this on multiple devices. I'm gonna use GNS3 in this example, but I'll also show you that these commands work on older devices like 1900 routers. So use these commands to get ahead to show others that you know stuff that many others in the, in the industry don't know. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this video. If you do, please like it, and please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. That really does help me. Okay, you're ready to learn some really cool Cisco iOS commands. Let me show you what's possible and show you how you can set yourself apart from others in the industry. Okay, glasses on, because I'm old. Okay, so here I've got a Cisco iOS router running in GNS3. Show version shows me that this is vIOS. Here's the version of operating system on this router. Now, some of you may already know some of these commands. As an example, show IP interface brief shows me interfaces on this router. But notice here, I have got many, many loopback interfaces. So I've got my physical interfaces, so gigabit 00, 01, 02, 03, but notice here, a whole bunch of loopback interfaces. Now, there are plenty of these. I'm gonna use forward slash now. That command is available in Linux. You'll find it in VI as an example. So here's a Linux device, uname, dash A. Notice I'm running Linux here. This is an Ubuntu Linux PC. It's actually a Docker container running in GNS3. But what I'll do here is start VI, and I've got a file here which is actually a show run of a switch configuration. Notice when I use forward slash, I can filter as an example for face. I can filter again for line, and that just scrolls through the configuration to that point. I'll quit out of VI here. So this forward slash allows me to filter as an example for 192. It's gonna take the show IP interface brief command and filter it, notice filtering, up to that point. Notice loopback 192. I'll filter again, because what I'm actually looking for is this loopback 300 interface, starting with 192.168.100.1 um, as the IP addresses. And there's a whole bunch of these. I'll filter again for, let's say, UN, as in tunnel, and notice it filters all the way down to tunnel. Now I have shown this forward slash command in other videos, but that's not what I wanna show you here. I'm gonna show you a really cool command. Notice I'm gonna go into global configuration mode and type shell processing full. So I've enabled full shell processing. That's the only command that you need. And notice what I can do now. So rather than doing it that way, like show IP interface brief, and then having to filter through the configuration looking for 
interfaces. I'm going to type show IP interface brief. And notice what I'm going to use here, grep. Grep is a Linux command that allows me to filter or search for stuff. Now, some of you may already know include. I could include, let's say, 192. And that shows me all lines that include 192. But that include statement is quite limiting. I can only do one include. I can only search for one thing. But notice what I can do here. I can do a grep for, let's say, up. So I'm looking for all interfaces that are up. Now, that's a bit boring because it's just going to show me every interface that's up. But what I'm going to do now is do pipe grep and let's not show interfaces that include 172 and let's also not show 192. This is a three tier grep. I'm doing a search for something and then I'm excluding something and I'm excluding something else. So I'm doing a three type include as an example. You can't do that with a standard include commands. Notice this shows me interfaces that have up in the list. So these interfaces are up, but I'm not seeing 172 and 192. I've just filtered a whole range of interfaces and all I'm seeing are the gigabit interfaces and then these tunnel interfaces and I've got two loopback interfaces here in the 10, 100 range. So that's really powerful. I could do another one here. So let's remove those. So let's say grep minus V. And I could just do it this way where I could say remove loop. I don't want loop. And notice that just shows me gigabit interfaces and tunnel interfaces. Now, some of you may say, well, you could just do that once. And that's true. Just play around with the commands and see what works for you. So I could just do grep up, grep hyphen V loop. So show me interfaces that have up in them, but don't show me loopback interfaces. So that's a positive and negative grep of output. You try and do that with just include commands. Now you may be able to do some of that, but let's show you an example on a switch that may really help you. Show IP interface brief. This will show me interfaces on the switch. I can see gigabit interfaces. I can see VLAN interfaces. Some of the interfaces are up, some of them are down. But what I could do is say, show me interfaces that are up, but don't show me interfaces that don't have an IP address assigned on them. That can be really useful if you've got a large configuration and you only want to see interfaces that have an IP address on them and that are up. Okay, so how about show run grep one dot one. Now that dot is actually a regular expression. Notice we've got a matching character there. We've got a matching character here, here, and here. What I could do, however, is say grep again for let's say 10. So show me everything that has 1.1, in other words, one something one in it, but filter that to only show me lines that have 10 in it. So something like this. Now you might say, well, I could have just done include 10 as an example. And that's true, but don't use these examples to limit what you're thinking. Use these examples just to show you what's possible and then think out of the box. How can you use this? Try different things and see if you can think of ideas of how you can use these commands. And add them below this video. Tell me examples that you've found useful. Now, notice I can do an include, but I can't do an exclude here. So with grep, I can do that. So the include exclude option is kind of limiting, but with grep, I could say, show me that, but let's do hyphen V or dash V. Let's exclude GIG. And that's probably because I didn't use grep there. So grep dash V gig. Notice same kind of result as I had over there. This is a double include, if you like, or double grep, show me something that matches twice. Here I've got show me a matching line, but don't show me this line that matches. So we've got an include exclude. You can't do that with the traditional show run pipe include, show run pipe exclude. Here I'm doing include exclude at the same time. Okay, so let's look at some other Linux commands. Here's my Linux 
PC once again. So uname-a shows me that I'm using Linux. Hyphen, hyphen help gives me help options with this command. But on a Cisco device, as an example, I can type uname-a. This shows me that I'm using iOS V as an example. Now, just like in Linux, I can use man. So look at the manual. So give me details of uname. Notice lots of options available with uname. So uname-a shows me all the information about this router. S just gives me the version. So it's iOS V. N gives me the name of the router. But let's try R. That's the version of operating system. So if you just want to get the version of operating system, there you go. That could be useful in a script as an example. Or V gives me details of the version. Very similar to the output over here with dash A. Now again, Linux does something very similar. I could say uname dash A gives me all the output. S tells me that this is Linux. This shell option has many commands. Now you may be wondering, you know, what commands are supported? I don't want to make this video too long. I'll show you some more complex stuff in a separate video. But if you want to start investigating, you know, what options are available, we have this show shell functions command that will show us which functions are supported by this command. So notice a very basic one, cat. We've got cut. We've got echo. We've got grep, which I've been showing you at the moment. So search for regular expressions in piped output of files. We've got head, more, plenty of Linux commands available here. So let's use head and tail. So show run, head will show me the first 10 lines of the running configuration. So there you go. So first few lines of the running configuration. I could also say tail, which will show me the last few lines of the running configuration. That's very basic stuff. Cat allows me to read a file. So if I type DRR, notice there's some files in flash. Let's do this, show run. And this is, a, this is very much a Linux command. I'm gonna pipe the show running configuration to show run.cfg. So I'm gonna type show run, pipe that configuration or push that configuration to, the, to a file in flash. So DIR shows me that that file exists in Flash. And what I can do here is type more show run CFG. And notice there's the file that I'm reading from Flash. But how about this? Let's do show IP route. And actually let's push that to show IP route.txt. So that file once again exists in the flash of the router. So what I'll do here is use cat. So cat ip route.txt. Cat just shows you the whole file in one go. Notice there's a lot of routes here. So I may have preferred to use more. More shows me one line at a time rather than just showing me the whole output in one go. So while we're waiting for that, let's go back onto Linux. So clear, Alice shows me the file here, cat show run, notice shows me the running configuration in one go. So that was a bit quick. So notice cat show run, whole configuration in one go. I could do sh more. Notice that shows me one page of configuration at a time. Same here, rather than using cat, I may prefer to use more. So I'm reading that file from Flash, but what it allows me to do here is press Q to quit. So rather than seeing all that output, I can just see one page at a time and then quit. Okay, so I could go on for a long time here. Notice we are using classic iOS here, and I was able to use these commands by just running the shell processing full command. Now in other videos, I'm gonna show you even more powerful ways of leveraging this to make you stand out from the competition as a network engineer. So learn this stuff and hopefully it will save you a lot of time in the real world. 
It will help you become a net, better network engineer and it'll help you differentiate yourself from others in the industry. Now, hopefully this is gonna change the way that you work. Hopefully it's gonna separate you from others that you work with or others in interviews. Hopefully it will show people that you work with that you're serious and that you're an excellent network engineer. Once again, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like this video. I'm David Bombal, wanna wish you all the very best.